Today we're going to be going over the five bad habits you must break to become better, to be better, to become more successful, right? This year, 2024, man, it could be your year where you change, man, you know, you change for the better and you follow these five tips, man, to become better and break these five bad, ugly habits that you're probably doing. Let's do it. Man, number one, no other than watching corn man watching the videos watching the x videos i mean they're they're x videos man so don't click on them x x exit out of those videos man please yeah uh, they contaminate your brain they create brain fog uh, they, they they don't allow you to think properly or focus correctly if you guys don't believe me man read the book or listen to the book my brain on corn or brain on corn uh, i personally haven't read it but i've heard good good things about it like it's a good book and it explains everything that you know the problems with this with watching it and of uh, insecurities begins to creep up it's it's not good man it's not good for you i mean if you really think about it you're uh you're watching through the screen man you know what i mean like through the fucking screen and um you know busting uh, you're practically seeing another guy smash a girl you know what i mean there's nothing really normal about that, right? Instead, why why can't you be the guy doing it? You know what I mean? In real life. Like, I'm not trying to see... Bro, I'm not trying to see titties through a screen, man. I'm trying to see that shit in real life, man. Like, I'm trying to... You know what I mean? I feel like it's affecting the youth so, so much. Uh, especially these past years, man. Yeah, you may have been going so many years doing it. But I stopped, man. And if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. It's not late, man. I personally don't even think about going back because I don't it's not in my it's not in my realm anymore I don't even think about it anymore right and and that's a fucking it's a blessing it really is man you're watching another guy get it on you know with another girl it's it's similar to if there if it was in person and a guy or your friend or whatever right he was smashing this girl in front of your eyes in front of you and you're like in the corner just come on think about it just sit down and think about it and analyze, right? Plus, man, our job as a man is to procreate, make babies. Bad habit number two is going to be sleeping late as fuck, all right? You guys got to stop sleeping late, man. Sleeping late is obviously bad because the next day you wake up sluggish. You're, you're, and then you wonder why you don't have motivation. Sleeping late obviously kills your brain cells. And, and it's, it's not good, man. It's not good. If you want a productive day the next day, you have to learn to sleep early, man. Sleep earlier. You know, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. latest, man. You know, it, it's the best thing you can do, really. If you're not used to it, start getting used to it, you know. Uh, if you guys don't, I feel like the problem lies in, in maybe you guys don't have anything to do in the morning or, you know, find something to do. Man, the mornings, but oh, I love mornings, man. I love mornings now. Back then, I was never a morning person, right? I was a night owl, so I'm guilty of this, man. I used to be that guy, you know? Sleeping late as fuck, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you know? For fun. <laughs> Getting f***ing eye bags on, under my eyes. And now they, they've improved, you know? And it's because I'm sleeping earlier now, right? Gonna benefit your health. Um, you know, there's, it's been studies, man, that, that say... If you sleep, if you consistently be sleeping late, like like as a routine, you're bound to take some years out of your life, you know. And, and honestly, I, I'm one to, to I'm one to uh, I'm one to believe that, you know. You guys are you guys can do your own research, right? Me personally, I just like waking up early, getting the things I gotta do done, and I get them done quicker. I I, I literally get them done quicker. Because I got this all this energy, bro. Because I slept good. I slept my eight hours, my seven and a half hours. Now, you know, you don't have to sleep nine, ten hours. You know what I mean? I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you. And, and every every person is different, to be honest. But just just you know, keep that keep it in mind. Right, number three, eating bad foods, man. Unhealthy foods. This is fat. Your fast foods. Your 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 processed foods. You know, all that junk, man. All that junk. You know, I, you guys remember the, the food pyramid at, at fucking in, in school? The bottom, the bottom column. <laughs> that bottom column, man. All the cakes, all the cupcakes, all the... But they're so delicious. Yeah, but they're gonna kill you, bro. They're gonna kill you. Uh, the cakes, the fucking... Uh, all, this, all this junk, man, you know? Chocolates, 
Unless it's dark chocolate, right? Dark chocolate is healthy. But you guys want to stop eating that, that stuff, man. It's not good for the health. Especially if you're, you're hitting the gym, you know. You, you, and your goal, and if you're hitting the gym, man, and your goal is to cut down, you got to stop eating this, this junk. You got to stop eating this crap, right? Your body's literally telling you to stop feeding me this stuff. And you're not listening. Your mind is telling you something else. That's why you can't always listen to your mind. Your mind, your mind plays tricks on you. You gotta listen to your heart, man. Your soul within you, right? You gotta be like, you know what? Shit, I'm gonna start eating healthy from now on. Start slow. You don't gotta, you know. Or and and start slow. Start slow. You know, because you don't want to like, you don't want to shock the body either, because then you're gonna, you might get sick or whatever. Start slow, like a, sla a, a, a slow transition. Slow transition, three cheat days a week. Three is better than every day, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, even the, even the unhealthy snacks, man, fucking chips and all that. So it's not good for you. Too much sugar on that shit. And uh, you're made to lose, man. You're made to lose if you don't get this, this diet on point, if you don't get this on lock. You can't just be working out. You gotta have you gotta have the nutrition to back it up. You have to. Number four, man. Since we're on the topic of nutrition, number four is not being consistent with the gym. Okay, not being consistent with the gym. You go some days, you know, you don't go other days because you're tired, because you're not motivated, because. By the way, that. Fuck motivation. I mean, yeah, it'll help you for a little bit, but what you need is discipline, man. You need you need to be like, you know, no matter what happens, I'm going to the gym. Even if it's only for one hour, even if it's only for an hour 30, 90 minutes, whatever, I'm still gonna go. I'm still gonna go. Even if I don't push myself that day, I'm still going to the gym, okay? Take some energy drinks, man. Take some pre-workout. Not all the time, but just a balance, you know? Or, as you guys see behind me, get a home gym if you don't feel like driving to the gym. Me personally, I got this home gym because I drive a lot. Um, I, keep my, I commute to work a lot and you know I'm driving all the time. Um, that's why I got this bad boy, because of that reason. Therefore, I can balance, you know, getting, if I had a long day at work and I don't feel like driving to the gym, guess what? Or if I came late from work, guess what? I got the gym right here. Right, so you gotta balance. You gotta learn your balances. Thank God, you know, I was able to afford this. So I'm not like I'm not. You don't have to do all this. Um, definitely, the gym is cheaper than this. But so you don't have to do all this. I just did it just because, you know, I think it looks dope. I think it's. Cool. Let's say you're traveling somewhere or whatever. Um, recently, I went to Hawaii for for my mom's birthday. It was amazing. Uh, you know, we went we we went to Hawaii. Uh, I actually only worked out two times that week. Two times. I wish I would have worked out more, but there was no, no gyms nearby. It was bad, you know. So, what did I do? I actually did abdominal workouts at the hotel, like on the floor. I literally started doing abdominal workouts. When I came back, I literally came back. I literally came back Friday at at one thirty in the morning, right at LAX. The next day I went to the gym. I went to the gym. There was no excuses. There was no excuses. Although I was jet lagged, tired. There was no excuses, man. You know? This is when you you This is when you you've ingrained it in your mind already. Like it's something natural to you to go to the gym. It's literally natural. You don't you won't feel good if you don't go to the gym. That's that's where you wanna be at at that point. What is it, number five, right? Number five, dressing up fashion, but not trying. That's a habit you gotta break, man. Dressing sluggish, not even trying, man. You dress your best, you feel your best. You know what I mean? You dress your best, you feel your best. Other people around you are, are gonna be impressed. Um, they'll respect you more, the more mature you dress. You know what I mean? You don't want. I used to wear graf a lot of graphic tees back then. Fucking uh, crash on my like video game crash on my shirt. Fucking SpongeBob, whatever the fuck, right? You guys gotta stop doing this, man. You guys gotta stop doing this. 
stop wearing baggy clothes as well. It doesn't look right, man. It doesn't look fitted clothing always looks the best on men. You know, look at James Bond. Look at look at a guy like James Bond, you know what I mean? And a lot of male figures look up to him. Why is that? This is one of the reasons why. The way he dresses, look at the way he's always in suits, he's always wearing suits. He's always looking presentable, his best. You know what I mean? Always walking straight with his chest up, right? Good posture. These things are so important, man. That, that, you know, and if you do, if and if you do break this habit, get ready for the choosing signals, man, from the girls, the ladies. They're gonna be looking at you, damn, poppy. You know what I mean? Like, trust me, trust me. <laughs> you follow these steps, you know, you'll you'll be you'll be on your way to greatness, man, for sure. If you break these five habits that I just named for you guys, man, um, what else do I need to cover? Microphone's good, okay. Oh yeah, but yeah, the baggy clothes, man. You know, you want to keep it just the baggy clothes. You would the baggy clothes. You want to keep it for just at home. You know, just a relaxing day at home. Uh, after you're done showering, you're you're all rested up. You're just getting ready for bed. I'm not saying wear a fucking suit to bed. You know, that's not what I'm saying. Don't do that. It's environment. For every environment, there's, there should be a a way you dress for this environment, a way you dress for that environment, and so forth. That's how you should do it. And that's it for you guys, man. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.